brand new at 530. It's the biggest tourism boom in the Carolinas. Fall colors bringing leaf lovers from all across the southeast into the Tar Heel State. I'm guilty. I've done that yes. too, of course. Yes. Meteorologist Elisa Rafa <laughs> met with experts to learn just how colorful our fall foliage was this year. She joins us live in Charlotte where our colors are turning. Elisa, you couldn't have picked a better backdrop. That's just gorgeous. Yeah. It is, it is gorgeous, and it's because we have some of the most talented photographers in the business. Brian Christensen was able to put me at this stunning spot today where we have these red maple leaves that experts tell me are some of the reddest that they've been in years, some of the reddest that they've seen. And it's because we finally got cooler temperatures to settle in sooner to really kick off the fall because that's not really happening so much anymore as our climate continues to warm. Oh, they were beautiful. Just the reds and yellows and it's gorgeous. Yeah. Recommend it to everybody. Every year, stunning fall color brings tourists flocking to the Carolinas. Very windy and cold today. Braving the conditions. <laughs> but we really found out why it's called blowing rock. <laughs> just for a glimpse. The cold is a sign that the change is not only coming. So a lot of those reds that you see over there are probably sourwoods or some of the uh, red maples. But it is as vibrant as can be. And the yellows are probably the sugar maples and uh, the, the birches are really doing well this year. Dr. Howard Newfeld is an App State plant ecophysiologist. It was a spectacular fall color season. It still is in some parts if you're at the lower elevations. Or more simply to the leaf peepers, he's known as the fall color guy who's been monitoring the Carolina's color for 15 years. Perfect color is cool temperatures, cool nights, and sunny days. And then you get the brightest yellows and oranges and especially the brightest reds. This year, we got the perfect recipe. It started getting cooler earlier. Our last 90 degree day in Charlotte was September 22nd. People are always saying it was early this year, but it's actually on time. If you look at the historical time, it's just that all the other years were late. The last few years, upper 80s have lingered well into October. It, it does seem to point out that when it gets warm, you could expect a later fall color season. Warm is becoming the norm in the Carolinas. We've added five more warm fall days to the peaks of Asheville since 1970, putting a one and a half degree fever on the fall color season. Rain, temperature and sunlight are all triggers to the change, but some species rely on some cues more than others. Some trees cue in on day length, so I think they're sensing the shortening of the days and no matter what it does, they just start turning. Whereas trees like maples, like, like over there, um, they, they cue in on both day length and, and really focus on temperature. As fall loses its cool cues for the trees, the color season can be shortened, delayed, and mistimed. So if you have a warm year, those trees focusing on day length do their thing at the same time no matter what. But the ones that are focusing on temperature, well, they're delayed. And then you spread out the color season instead of having everything come at one time. And in tourism, timing is everything. Yeah, we timed it like at the beginning of the year. We had it planned out for a while. Full color season is the Carolina's biggest tourist boom. The hotels get filled up, so you have to make your reservations way in advance. I get people asking me in June what, what, when it's going to be peak fall color. So whenever we can get grade A color. Nine. Nine or ten. I mean, I don't think it could get better than this this year. It means a colorful economic boom in the Carolinas. Beautiful part of North Carolina. So nice sure to be here. I mean, for Dr. Newfeld to give us a score of a 9 or a 10 is huge. That color was just so stunning up in the higher elevations as that peak winds down. But as you can see behind me, we have gorgeous color here that's starting to change in Charlotte. Dr. Newfeld says that our color in Charlotte has been sped up a little bit because of that frost and freeze that we had last week. Typically, our peak is around the first week of November, but it looks like we're peeping before Halloween. For now, reporting live in Charlotte, meteorologist Lisa Rapa, Queen City News. Oh, I feel like I learned so much from that story. All right, Lisa, thank you. <laughs>